Hello, it's Claire Phoenix. I'm here at Bra Bevial. I'm here with Sharon Creighton from the Ardar Group. Sharon, you had a great win last night with the Bombay Sapphire Bottle. Can you just tell me how this intricate design is achieved? Yeah, well, obviously, it's a very sculptured design with very nice corners and embossing and, and sculptures everywhere all over, even a, even a beautiful sort of pushed base with quite a lot of detail which reflects the, the stopper. Um, but, of course, the decoration is a key feature in this bottle. Um, it's, it's ceramic print around the bottle in, 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 in very fine detail. I don't know if you can actually see it there. Um, but one of the challenges we had with this was the not only the amount of fine detail in the design but the actual corners on the bottle as well because the print has to go around the corner. So it's a transfer is it? Yeah well the, rather than using traditional printing technology uh, we used a hand applied uh, transfer so the ceramic goes on by hand and then it's cured, um, mm. it's cured in an oven. And certainly a beautiful bottle, how much would something like this uh, Cost at retail. Um, in retail, this one was around about a hundred euro to buy. So it really is the super premium market, Absolutely, but yeah, yes. it certainly so it deserves really to win. commands that price. Oh, it's it's beautiful. a really premium product. And I love the glass stopper too. There's a lot of great ideas here. Wonderful. Can you tell me about some of the other finishes, like the textured finishes? Um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, these these are things that we're currently in development with. Um, something that's very novel. It's instead of using a traditional wet coating uh, paint, it's actually using powder. Uh, the powder is applied, um, it's charged electrostatically and then it's sort of cured onto the bottle so it's actually a more environmental uh, way of, of coating the bottle. You don't you eliminate VOCs and things like that but the fantastic thing about it is you always get also get um, some great textured effects so this is sort of like a hammerite effect but we've also got various other po possibilities including terracotta um, effect finishes, they're very tactile, they feel great and then this one as well which is like a sparkle uh, glitter coating. Yeah. I've seen this in some of the lovely colours like pink, you know, very feminine. So uh, And they yeah, still feel light, very lightweight, don't they? Yeah, so you still yeah, got well, the lightweight just, element. Yeah, just a standard bottle, but it brings um, that extra premium touch and, and a bit of intrigue and tactility. Mm -hmm. And then how is the, the diamond bottle achieved? How is that made? Um, well that's actually um, full body embossing. Again it's a sculptured effect uh, where the actual engraving is achieved in the moulds. Um, so, you know, is that cheaper to produce therefore? Is it, is it, is it made in the mould? Uh, yes, it's, it's basically you create the effect within the mould so you avoid the secondary processing mm. cost so it is a cost of way, effective way. It's very clever because see the light uh, refracting the light through. Yeah, the light reflects through it, it that's really nice. is a stunning design. And finally let's just move to, is this laser cut? Well, how um, is this achieved? Yes again this is a new technology that we're working with and developing. Um, it's not currently used in the beverage sector, it's something that's used in cosmetics and perfume but we feel it's really interesting again for this premium effect. It's, um, it's a, a metallized coating which then you can laser off so the laser attacks the metal um, as well you can have other colours underneath the laser attacks the metal but not the first colour coating so you can really um, create some quite mm -hmm. striking effects. Oh, it's great to see innovation from the personal care and perfume sector moving into beverages. Yes yeah, absolutely, There's really a, I mean some great synergies and this is another one as well obviously Arda is a glass and metal packaging company and this technology was actually developed within our metals division and we're now working with the glass division to sort of transfer it over so it's nice to see some synergies coming through internally within the business. That's lovely, thank you very much Sharon, thank you.